what's up you guys my name is mary i'm with high priestess intuition welcome my current subscribers and welcome 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 newbie if you guys are new to my channel aquarius and you enjoy my content if you could um uh, if you enjoy my content and you want to be notified for future readings just smash the sub button and it notifies you for future readings um just let you know okay so i felt guided to do your reading again you guys are special because i wasn't going to do the first four signs i already did because i'm trying to catch myself up um for november because i got backed up um because it's some personal things in my own life um but y'all are calling to me i took a nap um i had a visitor unexpected visitor i tried to lay back down couldn't sleep and then i kept hearing aquarius aquarius so then i came in here well i checked with my kids came in here and then I got some messages so it was just meant to be so i'm gonna do it so the two channels i got was um changes in the wind is the first one i heard changes in the wind and the second one i heard um fantasizing um fantasizing about someone is what i heard so aquarius just saying just saying so changes in the wind that that's I think that's some kind of change, you know, changes in the wind. I think that's something changing um, in your life or somebody you're connected to's life. It could either be positive or negative um, is what I'm feeling. Um, some kind of changes in the wind energy. Like I said, I feel it can go positive or negative. It's either in your life or somebody you're connected to's life. And then fantasizing about someone. So I think you are either fantasizing about someone someone, or someone is fantasizing about you. Or you're about to start fantasizing about someone or someone is about to start fantasizing about you. Is what I'm feeling. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. I see Aquarius. My goodness. All right. Um, for anybody that doesn't know, um, fantasizing, you know, it's... Well, I'm sure y'all, y'all 18 plus. I'm sure you know what fantasizing means. Just saying. Spirit messages to have for sign of Aquarius. It's like daydreaming. It's like daydreaming. Adult daydreaming is what that is. It's like adult daydreaming. <laughs> I don't know how else to explain that. It's like adult daydreaming. That's the best way I know how to explain that. Hopefully it don't become obsess obsessive. Just saying. Hopefully it don't become obsessive. Hopefully it gets worked out in a healthy way um just saying um either you are fantasizing or somebody you're is fantasizing about you um but hopefully this gets worked out in a healthy way and it doesn't become obsessive stalker energy either on you or you obsessively stalking somebody else i just want to make that clear just saying okay so five of wands upright three of swords upright An Aquarius is about to find secret communication. Between their partner and someone else. For some Aquariuses, this is going to really, really, really break their heart. For some, they already suspected it. And it's just more fuel to the fire to move on. Oh, God. Whoa. Dear God of might, Aquarius. Oh, this is... Whew. Way to start it off. Okay. So, you plug it in how it resonates. Um, I was obviously felt guided to do yours for a reason. Um, I hate it starts off like this, but it is what it is. So, whoever this is, you're in a relationship. You are in a relationship. It's either... I'm thinking it's either boyfriend, girlfriend, fiance, common law, or marriage. You plug it in how it resonates. But... Some kind of committed relationship, I will tell you that. It can be um, homosexual, it can be heterosexual. You plug it in, how it resonates. But however it resonates, um, you have a partner, you have a partner. And I heard you are about to find secret communication between your partner and another person. I think it's illicit conversation or illicit pictures or illicit video um, is what I'm thinking. 
um, but you plug it in how it fits. Or for some of you guys, it's going to break your heart. So I think it might be the first time you found this and it's gonna break your heart. For some, I don't feel it's the first time you found, you found this. I feel it's probably many times down the rabbit hole energy with this. And um, because it sounds like you're kind of cold to it at this point, um, because it has happened so many times in the past and I heard it's just gonna give you fuel to the fire to move on. So, um, for some, I feel it's the first time, and it's going to break your heart. It's going to break your heart. Um, for some, I don't feel it's the first time. I feel it's many been happening for a hot-ass minute, um, just for real, for real. Or it's either the have been having a hot-ass minute, it's the first time you found it, and you scroll through and realize, oh, my God, it's been going on for a hot-ass minute. Or it's been, it's like the 20th time you found this crap. So, but however it resonates for the second situation, you're cold to it now. You're cold to the relationship. You're cold. I mean, you, it sounds like you've already checked out. You've already checked out. They've already checked out. And it's going to give you full fuel to the fire to move on. So you emotionally moving on um, because you're already checked out of the freaking relationship. And apparently so are they. On the second situation, the first situation, it, it's brand new news I feel to you. And it's going to break your heart. So you plug it in how it resonates. So this is the conflict when you find these this communication it can be text it can be email it can be pictures it can be sexting i mean you plug it in how it resonates but conflict when you find it um whether you're a situation a and it's breaking your heart or b you're already cold and you're moving on um three of swords upright this is a heartbreak for situation a for situation b it's your um heart cold as ice and you're moving on you plug it in however it resonates b Spirit messages you have for sign of Aquarius. Strength reverse, nine of pentacles reverse. And Aquarius is about to find out some their child is failing a college course and partying way too much. Oh, oh my God. Whoa, dear God. I thought this was going to be a happy freaking reading. What the hell? You plug it in how it resonates. Oh my God. So for some of you guys, I heard you're about to find out if this resonates with you, you have a child in college. I'll tell you that. It can be masculine or femme, child in college. But it's your child in college. If this resonates with you, I heard uh, your child is failing a course and they're partying too much. So you plug it in how it resonates. So it's going to make you feel very weak because um, if your child's in college, I'm presuming you're probably footing the bill or they got a scholarship, but either well, you're probably footing the bill if they're partying too much and um failing a class if they're on a scholarship usually they it's taking a lot of time hard blood sweat and tears for them to earn that scholarship and usually they don't squander it usually but some do some do so some they could be on a scholarship for some a lot of you guys i feel you were footing the bill is what i'm trying to say i feel you're freaking footing the bill and that's what's making you feel so weak about this because you've given them all this golden wonderful opportunity basically gave them it on a platter and they're down there wherever they're at up there down there around there partying up and failing classes basically on your dime for some of you uh for some it could be on scholarship but it's gonna make you feel very weak very weak in the knees and not a pinnacle's reverse this is your child energy i'm feeling unstable and grounded unreliable undependable because they're not um they're not bringing in the grades they need to bring in they're not, uh, they're part. I heard they're partying way too much. That could be drugs, that could be alcohol, that could be sex, that could be, um, that could be video games till 3 a.m. with soda pop. I mean, how, whatever their partying game strong is, is what I'm trying to say. Um, but it's going to make you feel very, very, very weak, um, because they're coming off as very unstable, ungrounded, unreliable, and dependable. Uh, night energy for your child. So I feel it's 18 to, um, 25 to 35 esque energy. It's supposed to be 18 to 25 energy, but it's 2021. 20, I've kind of 
feels more like 18 to 35 esque energy but um when that would make sense for a college age child um if this resonates for you you plug it in how it resonates dear god almighty and a particular aquarius is about to find out news on a pregnancy ancestral pregnancy it's going to make them feel very sick Ugh. oh God. oh this is sick oh it made me feel sick to aquarius i'm just saying okay so you plug it in how it resonates so I, um if this resonates with you i heard you're about to find out news on an ancestral pregnancy i heard it's gonna make you feel very sick um so six your stomach so yeah it would be too so strength reverse um that's sick to your stomach energy and then um this is the ancestral pregnancy energy i'm assuming the person impregnated the, the person or it could be the person pregnant um uh, i'm assuming they're feeling unstable ungrounded unreliable undependable because they know it's an ancestral pregnancy or it could be the baby father that feels sick to their stomach um because they know they knocked up a family member oh could be a Taurus Capricorn Virgo or another sign taking on the Taurus Capricorn Virgo reverse energy. Um, this isn't you. This is you about to find out about this. So you plug it in how it resonates. We got to move away from that. That's gross. Hopefully with some better energy. Dear God of my. Spirit messages you have for the sign of Aquarius. An unexpected run-in with someone in town soon is going to make an Aquarius very happy. Never would have expected it. Okay. So you plugged in how that resonates. I heard an unexpected run-in uh, with someone in town in town is going to make an Aquarius very happy. You never expected it. So it's somebody you never, you didn't expect running into in town. I heard in town. So uh, it could be while you're, maybe you travel for business or pleasure or both. It maybe it's out of town. Maybe it's in your hometown. Um, maybe it's in a town you're visiting, um, but it's someone you know, it's someone you know either well or not well, um, but it's someone you recognize enough to say hi, I'll tell you that. Um, I heard it's gonna make you very happy. So it's not someone that um you have, you know, um that it it's not a negative energy towards you, is what I'm trying to say. It's not someone that um has done something negative to you. I feel you're on good terms with this person, and um I heard it's gonna make you feel happy. So you plug it in how it resonates. It could be a family member, it could be a friend, it could be a um, platonic person, be someone that you met six months ago and um, maybe you just run back into them. I mean, you plug in and how it resonates. Queen of Cups reverse, Six of Cups upright. And Aquarius is about to find out about a secret bank account. Some in a very professional standpoint going to help with this. Some in a personal standpoint. Partner hoarding money. Oh, my good Lord. So you plug it in how it resonates. Okay. So if this resonates with you, a secret bank account energy, 
some of you guys, it's on a professional standpoint, um, but you're about to find out about this, but I heard you're going to help with the secret bank account energy. So you're on the positive side of the professional side here uh, with the secret bank account energy. You're going to help somebody get justice with the secret bank account energy, but it sounds like you're about to help locate the secret bank account or you get intel or information about the secret bank account and maybe several of you locate it. You plug it in, how resonates, but that's on the professional side. I heard you're really going to help with it. So it's some kind of secret bank account information and you're going to, you're going to, you're going to help. Um, I think resolve this secret bank account energy situation. It's on a professional side. So you have to be a position high authority in some shape, form, or fashion is what I'm feeling. Either you work in the banking industry, um, maybe you work in the legal sector, maybe you're an investigator, maybe you're um, law enforcement. May, um, I'm trying to think what else you are. Um, maybe you're a detective. Maybe you are governmental entity agency energy. I'm thinking high level. Uh, like state or federal. Maybe you are local, um, but I think you're higher than that. Um, but you plug it in how it resonates. You, you have to have authority to to gain access to the secret bank account or even start snooping around to find the secret bank account is what I'm trying to say. So I don't think you're, you know, and nothing against people that work at, um, you know, like Walmart or Jack's or whatever. I used to work at Jack's after ner graduating nursing school, mind you. Um, but what I'm saying is, this is not where your point is energetically in the energy space right now. This is not where you're at. You're, you have access and authority to find the secret bank account professionally. And it sounds like you're about to be successful and it's, you're going to handle it in a professional manner. Um, in a positive light side manner is what I'm feeling. For some, it could be just you. For some, it could be you and several people. Um, kudos to you. But on the flip side, um, for some, both of these could resonate with you. For some, one could. You plug it in how it resonates. But on the flip side, there's another on the personal side, and Aquarius is about to find a secret bank account. Um, energy of a partner. I heard they're secretly hoarding money. So you didn't know this secret bank account on the personal end existed, but your partner is hoarding money in it is what it sounds like. Um, and I'm assuming it's going to really uh, have you in your feels, very emotional about it because... I'm sure you trusted them. I'm sure you trusted them and you never thought they would do that. Um, but they are. Apparently. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. Oh, Lord. Ooh. Yikes. Okay, I'm going to get y'all some tea leaves and then I'm going to close it. You're good. Spirit messages to you have for side of Aquarius. There's um, some more of that pumpkin spice pancake on the other side if you want it. That makes no sense. I, if I did it, I sure didn't mean to do it. Spirit messages you have for sign of Aquarius. Uh uh uh, uh got the camera off. Fair messages here up front of Aquarius. Heavy Librans. Other Aquarius. Leo. And Pisces energy. Okay. So have um a Cap Capricorn Libran double Aquarius. Leo, hold on. Oh, hold on. Sorry. Libra, Libra, Capricorn, Leo, Pisces, and a double Aquarius energy. So you plug that in, however that resonates. So that's what I heard. So I feel these are people you're dealing with in your life in some shape, form, or fashion. That could be professional, that could be
business, that could be personal, um, personal, that could be any, any of those aspects. It could be the person you ran, run into in town, possibly. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. Um, that's at least five people in the universe. It could be more than five because you know it could be a hundred li uh, Libras. It could be 50 Capricorns, uh, three Pisces, four Leos for all I know. Um, but um, heavy energy, heavy of those energies. Um, Caps, Libra, Leo, Pisces, and other and double queries. So um, you plug it in how it resonates. Um, I think those are people you're dealing with in your life in some shape, form, or fashion. Huh? Okay. Sorry, the ice machine's on. Okay. Now, uh-uh, uh-uh. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, y'all. I was making sure um, the camera wasn't showing. Okay, so I got out two, and um, but then the third one popped out at the very end. I'll show it to you. So I flipped all of them over, so I took all three. This is that one that popped out at the end, and like I said, I've already flipped them over, but um, we have three, three tea leaves. So I'm going to do these. Everything that happens in a reading happens for a reason, so I don't, um, if it pops out like that, usually I take it. Ladder, climbing for success. And Aquarius is really working on something professionally right now behind the scenes and it's going to be very 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 successful okay heard an aquarius is working on something behind the scenes right now and it's going to become very 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 successful so you plug it in how that resonates um lights out aquarius lights out aquarius okay so whoever you are, you're a light side Aquarius. I heard that specifically from Spirit. So you're a light side Aquarius. So, you know, you might not have always been light side. I mean, we all have our ups and downs. I mean, I'm just being for real. We all do. So, I mean, I'm not saying maybe for some, you always have been light side. But if you haven't always been, you are now is what I'm trying to say. You can always raise your vibration. You can always do that. Um, so you've either raised your vibration or you've kept it high. Um, but it's something behind the scenes professionally i heard it's going to be very 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 successful so climbing towards success so it's going to lead to success in your professional career um or lots i think lots of success for some of you guys um i feel it's something big and for some of you i feel it is the secret bank account energy is this a secret yeah this was secret bank account energy I think it's the secret bank account energy. Was this it? it I, I feel it's the secret bank account energy is what I'm trying to say. The spirit message I got in here about the secret bank account. Um, professionally. Not the one personally where your partner's hoarding money. But the professional one. I think that has something to do with somebody. And I think you're high level in some shape, form, or fashion. If that resonates with you, I think you're high level. Somehow, it's going, it's going to work out for you in your favor professionally. Um, so you're going to be on the positive side of this, um, you're locating the secret bank account and I think bringing it out to the open and, uh, uh, however that resonates, um, you plug it in how it resonates, but I think it's going to give you success professionally is what I'm trying to say. That's, that's what I'm trying to say. And Aquarius is about to get a promotion as well. Employment sector.
Okay, I heard in Aquarius is about to get a promotion as well, employment sector. So congrats to whoever that's for. You're in the employment sector and you're about to get in a, a, a promotion. So um, congrats to you, whoever that's for. Um, I, you know, I don't care if you work at Jack's. I don't care if you work at McDonald's. I don't care if you work um, at freaking Washington, you know, in the freaking um, White House. Just saying. Um, congrats to you. Um, all jobs are important from the janitor to CEO. So congrats to you. Crown, honor and respect will come to you. And Aquarius is really seeing things through a whole new perspective. Really about to. It's going to be very beneficial for them. In a particular situation. Going to start seeing very, very, very clearly about a Gemini. Masculine. Did not in the past. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Um, if that resonates with you, I'm sorry, my leg is, it is freaking dead, man. It's asleep. Um, so if this resonates with you, I heard um, you, you're drawn in a Gemini masculine energy as well. You've got a lot of people in this reading. You've got a partner energy. You've got a lot of professional You've got at least five signs, personal or professional, you're drawing in. Um, Gemini was not one of these. And then you've got a Gemini masculine that you're drawing in as well, too. Um, but whoever this is, I heard basically, um, you did not see clearly about this Gemini masculine in the past. But I heard basically, um, you're about to gain a new perspective on things. Um, and I think the new perspective, maybe the new perspective that could resonate with your voice. It could be a new perspective on the, I heard on the situation. So it's a situation, I think, regarding a Gemini masculine. It could regard a Gemini masculine, other people, or just the Gemini masculine that you're focusing on. You plug it in how it resonates. But um, however that resonates, though, I heard it's causing you to see things in a new perspective. And you're starting to basically see this Gemini masculine for who they really are. I heard you did not see that in the past. I feel you're starting to see the true colors come out of this Gemini masculine, or you're about to start seeing the true colors come out in this Gemini masculine. And I don't feel, um, for some, I don't feel they're super positive. I'm not feeling great energy in here, um, but you plug it in how it resonates. I'm not saying it's horrible energy. I don't feel horrible energy. Um, at least not right now, I don't. But I don't feel as great, I'll tell you that. Because I think in the past, I think you... Um, you really, really held this Gemini masculine on very high regards in the past, but series of chain events is going to make you not. Actions speak louder than words. Okay. Okay. Well, there you go. So I heard, um, you held this Gemini masculine in very high regards, I think energetically and vibrationally and in your mind, um, and you know, interaction and if you interacted with them 3D, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, in the past. Um, but I heard basically actions speak louder than words. So it sounds like some kind of series of chain of events is going to occur with this Gemini masculine that's going to make you see him in a different perspective. And it's going to be in a negative perspective. In the past, I heard you held him on a huge high pedestal stool in the past. So you held them in, you held this Gemini masculine up there, up there, up there. Like you, this person could do no wrong, basically, or barely could do no wrong. But you're about to start seeing him in a different perspective because actions speak louder than words. Um, so you plug that in, how it resonates. That Gemini masculine for some could be this um, partner that's hoarding money from you. For some, it could be, um, for some, it could be the um, person that your partner is cheating with. Um, secret messages or videos or whatnot. For some, it could be an ancestral baby daddy energy. For some, it could be um, some other Gemini masculine in your life. But it's some kind of, you know, it's a person from the past. You've known them from the past. Um, but you held them in super high regard. You just thought the moon to them. But Actions are about to speak louder than words, and it's about to, you're about to see them in a completely different perspective. Um, I feel that has not happened yet. I feel it's about to happen. For some, it might have already happened. You plug it in, how it resonates. Honor and respect will come to you. Wow, y'all's is a long one, too. Holy crap. Honor and respect will come to you.
For some, the Gemini masculine could be your um, child in college, possibly. Just saying, too. Just saying. But it's a Gemini masculine, so, you know, that child in college could be masculine or femme. You plug it in how it resonates. An Aquarius is about to go very direct in a very serious situation very soon, very quickly, and stay there. Seeing things for what they really are in many aspects of life. For some, it's going to bring in true feelings for another. This person is real and genuine, and you know this. And has a lot, to a lot of love to give. Just does not want to be taken advantage of. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Wow, if this resonates with you. So um, if this resonates with you, you have the honor and respect will come to you. Um, you're coming... It sounds like you're about to go, go direct soon in a very serious situation very soon. So maybe you wasn't direct in it in the past, but soon you're about to come. Either for some, you might have just turned fully direct. For some, you're turning fully direct. However, that resonates. Everybody's on different time of life paths. But you, I heard you're going to stay there. You're going to go direct. You're going to stay there. So you're going to see things. I heard you're going to see things for what they really are. So this situation, this very serious situation, whatever the crap it is, it can be personal, it can be professional, it can be both. Because you are drawing a little bit of both in here. Is It's going to make you start seeing, I heard many things for what they really are. So you wasn't, I don't think your intuition was very clear on certain aspects in the past. Definitely not the whole first time finding your partner um, basically uh, emotionally cheating on with somebody. Um, it might be more, um, but you know, there's a lot going on in here. It could be professional. It could be a personal, it could be a million different things. Um, it could resonate a million different ways in several of these situations if they resonate with you, but I heard you're about to go direct and you're going to stay there. So, and that's a good thing. So you're going to start seeing things for what they really are. And for some, you going direct is about to bring you in true love. For some, you're in some toxic ass marriage or relationship or situationship or um third party or something it's something nasty i'll just close not that one it's something nasty i'll tell you that um and, and it's not bringing you true emotional fulfillment and happiness i'm telling you that um so you're gonna go direct and stay there now for some it could be the new love could resonate with you and for some it could not you know there's thousands of people that watch view these videos um, every round, you know, so you have to plug yourself in how it resonates, but, oh, you're so blurry, hold on, but for some, you're about to start, um, you're going to find new love, this go and direct energy is about to make you, I think, perspective change and cause you to open your heart emotionally, like true emotional feelings towards another person, heard you know they're very honest and genuine and real, um, and they have a lot of love to give, they just don't want to be taken advantage of, so I think for some, you're going to break away from some kind of toxic relationship. I think it's the secret partner texting, cheating, whatever the crap they're doing. Uh, one, one time call, one 50 times call possibly. Um, because you're meeting somebody or you've already met somebody or you're about to meet somebody that really fills your cup emotionally. And you know it. And you're highly intuitive. This resonates with you. You're highly intuitive. And you know they filled your cup. Um, so I don't feel it's not a new person. I don't feel it's a new person. I think it's somebody you know. Um, whether you've known them for freaking two weeks or two years or 20 years. You already know them. Um, I'm feeling for a lot of you guys. Um, and that and that's going to um, bring you a lot of emotional fulfillment. I guess once you and this person talk, if they're on the same page too, and you both want to be together. Of course, you know, you both have to talk like, grown mature adults about relationships just saying but if they um if they consent and agree to it too then you know it sounds like it would bring you a lot of emotional fulfillment is what i'm trying to say so honor and respect will come to you i think getting out of this toxic 
whatever the crap this is over here. This is sick. Um, and I think the honor and respect will come to you too, seeing this Gemini for Gemini masculine for who they really are. Um, I feel it's an adult Gemini masculine. Uh, for some, I feel it might be your child in college, but you know, the ch children in college are considered adult age too. So you plug it in how it resonates, but plug it in how it resonates. You will be playing a different role. This is the extra one that came out. And Aquarius. Is about to meet their match in the romantic department. It's going to excite them, but scare them. They're used to going for people they feel are more immature emotionally, but this is not the case here. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. My God, this is kind of sexy, Aquarius. Man, somebody's about to, somebody. I mean, this is a good reading. It's a good reading, whoever this is for. It's a good reading. I mean, there's a lot going on in here. You have to plug yourself in where you fit, but it's a good reading. I mean, a lot of growth, a lot of perspective change, a lot of truth coming out. Um, it's a good reading. It really is, but somebody is really about to, they're about to meet their match in the emotional department romantic emotional department um you whoever this is for you're used to going for people i heard less emotionally mature than you but basically um whoever you're about to fall for here in aquarius is it sounds like either it sounds like they're an equal counterpart emotionally um, on the romantic emotional front as you um, so I think they've been through a lot. They've been through a lot emotionally. They've been through a lot romantically. They've been through a lot, um, in their relationship department. And, um, I heard it, um, it scares you, but it turns you on basically. I mean, just seriously, that's basically just of it. Um, it scares you, but it turns you on. So it's like a sin. I feel like a scintillating, exciting energy. Um, but you know, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Do you, why do you want somebody lower on the emotional spectrum than you? Um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want somebody lower on the emotional spectrum than me. I'd want somebody at least equal playing field because you're not gonna be able to grow with that person down the line, emotionally, physically, sexually, or, um, otherwise spiritually or, um, any other way, if you're, you're not at least on the equal playing field, I feel. I feel everybody deserves to have a same uh, person on the same equal playing field is the way I feel. Um, and this person is, I heard they are um, emotionally and relationship wise. Now, you know, for a lot of you guys, I feel you make pretty good money in here. I'm not going to lie. I feel you make good money. So they might not make as good as money as you, um, but emotionally and mature wise and relationship wise, as far as been around the block emotionally and mature wise and relationship wise, they got a freaking nail on hat, man. Um, they might make, for some, they might make as much money as you possibly. Um, for some of you, you make hell of a bank, just saying. Um, but money ain't everything. I mean, yeah, it's hell nice. It's hella nice. But this is more important, in my opinion. Well, not the specific message, but the whole being on the same level emotionally, physically, mentally, um, spiritually, being on the same compatibility level is more important because you can always bring the money up um down the line if, if you start off low playing field emotionally mentally and physically and all you know the important bills basic building blocks that it's like danger danger just saying in my opinion but you plug it in how it resonates so you'll be playing a different role i think this is um with the whole falling for this person um you i don't think they're very intriguing to you they're very intriguing to you uh, aquarius they're very intriguing to you um, I heard they scare you. They basically scare the hell out of you. Uh, but it's because it's not someone you would normally go for. It's not the type of person you would normally go for. So that's why I feel they scare the hell out of you. And um, that's just my intuitive logic and reasoning on this. And I'm just being serious. It's because you're used to going for people lower for you, uh, lower than you on the totem pole, emotionally, physically, mentally, uh, spiritually. Um, but this person isn't. 
No, just saying. They're just not. Um, they've been around the block in the relationship department. And for some of them, they probably have been around the block about 50 times. And that's why they are so emotionally mature. Because they've had to endure so much. Um, you know, if anybody wants that little perspective on that. And I'm serious. I'm serious. All right, let me see if I hear anything else. Holy crap, y'all, the longest reading so far. Okay, okay, we're done. I got to get off here. I got to go check on my son. Love you guys. Everybody have a wonderful day. Namaste.